Hey what's going on guys, today I'll show you how you can use shortcode inside your Elementor website. If you don't know what shortcode is, shortcode is a special code which you can write inside your post or pages to display various things like a calendar or a contact form or it can be anything. Today I'll show you how you can use this shortcode inside your Elementor page. You can use it in two different ways. I'll show you both of them and at the end of this tutorial, I'll tell you which is the proper way of using it. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, our first way is by using the text editor widget. So here you can see the text editor widget. First let's drag this inside this page. And here I want to use an shortcode. So for this, if we go to our dashboard, here we have created a contact form by using this WP Forms plugin. And this plugin provides a shortcode for each of your forms. So I want to include this form. So let's copy this shortcode from here and paste this right here. Okay, right now if we update this page and go to preview, here you can see the result of this shortcode which is a contact form. So here we can see our final result in our preview page. But if we go to our edit page, here we can't see our original preview. So that's why there is a better option for using shortcode inside Elementor. So right now I want to delete this. And I want to use the shortcode widget. So let's search for the shortcode. And this is the shortcode widget. This widget is made only for using shortcodes. So let's drag this and paste that shortcode here. Okay, right now we can see the instant preview of this form. And if we also go to our preview page, here it also shows properly. So I always recommend you to use the shortcode widget instead of the text editor widget because you can see the instant preview here. And if you want to adjust some design for this area, you can do that properly. So for example, if I want to add another content after this, like here I want to add a paragraph. Okay, let's change its text. So we can see the instant preview, how it will look like when we add content after our shortcode. So here we can see there is a gap between this button and this text. If we want to adjust this, so let's go to advance and I want to add some negative margin. Okay, that looks good. So here if we use the previous text editor widget, we can see here the instant preview. So for adjusting this gap, we need to go back and forth to our preview page to adjust our design. So that's why I always recommend you to use this shortcode widget. Okay, that's how you can use shortcodes inside your Elementor website. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button to inspire me to make more videos like this. Thank you so much. I'll see you on my next.